Hey guys, welcome to the channel Code Chef. If you want to learn competitive programming and get a good hold on data structures and algorithm, this is the one-stop destination for you. Every week there are several videos which will enhance your skills in competitive programming and it will help you to boost your knowledge in data structures and algorithm. There are already editorial video coming into the channel for Code Chef contests. So if you are new to the channel, then do subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell notification. So myself Shirayu Jain, I'm a Code Chef educator. And in today's video of the series Disjoint Set Union, we are going to discuss about minimum spanning tree. Okay, guys, so in today's video, we are going to learn about minimum spanning trees, right? What are their properties? How we can find the minimum spanning tree? But before that, we should learn that what is spanning tree, right? So let's go into the depth of spanning tree. That spanning tree is a subset of a graph which has all the vertices covered with the minimum possible edges right so we have a particular graph and we want to travel to each and every edge with the minimum number of edges that forms a spanning tree right so how we can understand this is that let us see that this is one one of the graph with three vertices and three edges right so this is a graph and we want to find that what are the spanning trees that it can have right so one graph can have a multiple spanning tree right so if you see this spanning tree one it will connect all the edges right these two uh, it will connect all the vertices these two edges right so therefore this is a spanning tree with minimum edges and connecting all the vertices so if you see two is also connected also connected and three is also connected right so these three vertices are connected and it forms uh, it is formed with minimum number of edges right now let us look at this one uh, this is also an another type of spanning tree if you see the configuration of these two are uh, these two trees are quite different and because this has uh, edge with two and three and this doesn't have this edge and we have uh, an edge between one and two and one and three doesn't have any edge right so this is a uh, another combination of uh, of a spanning tree with these edges and as we can see here as well all the three vertices are connected in the graph if you look at the third example right here also all the three vertices are connected and how many edges are required two edges one connecting one and three and another one is connecting two and three right so this is a third type of spanning tree right so this particular graph has three spanning trees right and these are the minimum edges which are required to cover all the vertices right so if you can see you can travel to three you can travel to two you can travel to one so basically it is a connected graph right you cannot find the disconnected components present inside this graph right so this is what some basic introduction about the spanning tree is now look at now we'll look at some properties of this spanning tree okay guys so now let us look at some of the properties of the spanning tree right so we have seen what is a spanning tree is and uh, the properties which are associated with the spanning tree is also quite relevant as we can generally observe it from the example itself that the property number one states that a gra connected graph can have more than one spanning tree we have seen that the graph with the three number of vertices have three spanning trees available right so there is uh, nothing like that that it should have only a single spanning tree it can have multiple spanning tree as well right but the condition remains the same minimum number of edges and covering all the vertices right all the spanning trees have same edges there are n minus 1 edges in a spanning tree so if you have seen that example right in which we have connected in which we have initially this graph and we have formed three spanning trees uh, like that right so if you see here that all of these three spanning trees have only two edges all of these spanning trees have only two edges right and uh, with these two edges they are able to connect all the uh, three vertices right so with what we can see that all of the spanning trees must have the similar same edges not similar because it can have different in configuration but the same number of edges and there are n minus one edges in a spanning tree right so what what are the count of the edges that is n minus one number of nodes minus one edges should be present in a spanning tree right that is quite obvious as well to connect n nodes right how many minimum edges we should require is n minus one right so that is what it is right so all the spanning tree have n minus one edges you can see here uh, if that that is three vertices are there in this particular graph then we have two 
edges for each of the following uh, spanning tree right so this is the second important condition right the third important condition is a spanning tree does not have a loop or a cycle right this is the important thing that we have discussed in the dsus as well so to detect it that how we can detect whether a loop or a cycle is present or not but we'll look at the suspect in the coding as well when we're trying to code for the criss algorithm or we're trying to code for prims or something like that so we'll see uh, this phase there as well but just to give you an intro that a spanning tree does not have a loop or a cycle right if you see this it has a loop within it. if you see they do not have a loop they do not possess a loop right so obviously a uh, spanning tree will not have a loop or a cycle for itself right so this is the important point that we should mark over here right now the fourth is it is minimally connected in nature right so generally you will see spanning tree is the tree which has minimum number of edges to make a connected graph right so you cannot find anything anything below that right you cannot find a tree which has minimum edges then which has a less number of edges than the, a spanning tree and uh, then a minimum uh, then a spanning tree and it is connected right so you'll not find a graph like that so it is it is a tree which it is a tree which has minimum number of edges to connect all the n vertices that we have right so this is what uh, we should understand about these spanning trees so all the properties have been covered of, of this and they are quite relevant as well it is uh, uh, nothing like that that we should derive or something that we should you know more focus on it is quite obvious for all all, all the points are quite obvious for the spanning trees okay so this is all about spanning trees so this is a brief introduction about this now let us look at what are minimum spanning trees right okay guys so now let us understand what is minimum spanning tree so we have seen what are spanning trees and now let us see that how we can define a minimum spanning tree so generally minimum spanning tree is for the weighted graphs right so in a weighted graph it is a spanning tree that has minimum weight right that has minimum weight with respect to all other spanning trees right so the spanning tree like we have seen that for a given graph we have multiple spanning trees and amongst them the one which has minimum weight is known as the minimum spanning tree that's what the definition says now let us take the same example that we are taking from the beginning right this one so it has three vertices and uh, there are some weight associated with an edge right so this edge has a weight of 10 this edge has a weight of 25 this has a weight of 40 right so how many spanning trees are possible we have seen that there are three spanning trees possible right so we have drawn the spanning tree and with each edge right we are taking the weight associated with it if the edge is not taken then we are not taking the weight as well right so for each of these spanning trees if you see here the weight is 10 25 for the edges 25 40 10 and 40 for the edges right so what we need to do now is we need to sum the weights of all the edges right so here it sums up to be 10 plus 25 which uh, makes the sum as 35 here it makes the sum as 40 plus 25 65 and here the it makes the sum as 10 plus 40 that is 50 right so amongst all of these spanning tree right which has the minimum weight right so this is the one which has the minimum weight right if you see here this is the one which has the minimum weight so this is the mst right this is the mst minimum spanning tree so this is a very simple example you'll see uh, to understand what is a minimum spanning tree otherwise the examples get complicated we have multiple uh, vertices we have a combination of edges as well right so in that we need to find out what is MST. So there is like a we'll see along the series that Chris Carl's Prims algorithm. There is various algorithms which will help us determine what is the MST. And uh, we have seen DSU as well to detect what is the cycle. So combination of all of these will help us. The knowledge will help us to design the algorithm and finally able to code it. So this was just an introduction about what are spanning trees and what are minimum spanning trees. Just go through it. Uh, if you have any doubts, you can write it on the comment section below. And now we'll be proceeding towards various algorithms to understand it. But before uh, you know uh, encountering that algorithm, you should be well versed with what we have studied till now. That is in this series, that is DSUs and MST, and then you we can proceed with the algorithms as well.